Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a set review on set number 10225, the Ultimate Collector Series R2D2. When this set released in the year 2012, it retailed for 200 US dollars. And as I am currently filming this, there will be there is rumored to be another UCS R2D2 for the May the 4th UCS set. So this is what the stand and the minifigure look like since I actually lost them. This is just a photo of what they would look like. If you really want to know what they look like, you can just go to Lego, search it up, and you'll be able to see. But the R2-D2 is one of the more original designs that they have used. And probably the one in 2021 will hopefully be a completely new version or one that just looks a whole lot better than the one we have now, which is going to be really hard to do. But let's see if they can do it. And as you can see, this is a fully done R2-D2. Not really sure how they'll be able to do it any better. The only thing I'll be able to see is that they'll be able to fix this on the top of the head, how it's so blocky. Starting off on the bottom here, there is a great attention to detail with just everything. I really do also love like these wires. They look really cool. If you want, you can even lift them up, but it's only like that so you can get the good angle. And all the way on the bottom, as you can see, they have like these little plate things so that you can like slide it or just keep it on its stand much better. And just like in the shows and movies, you can open both these parts up of R2-D2 and they can fling out. For the left one, all you have to do is twist this and it'll go up. And then there's another thing on the other side. And there you have like his taser and his buzzsaw. There's nothing else that really goes on in this area except for, of course, this little thing that can open up. There's nothing inside really, but it's just cool how they decided to add that. Everything else is just detail that looks amazing. Over here is the top of the head, which can actually spin in a full 360 degree rotation. I really do how they uh, got this thing on the angle. I like how they were able to do that, and especially the detail that they had. The thing I think they're gonna fix is when you remove the head. As you can see, they used a lot of different colors. I think if they when they make their new one in 2021, it's just gonna hopefully be just around the same color. And if you guys are curious, this is what the inside of the head looks like. Not very flattering. And there are other ways you can stand this, because as you can see, the R2-D2 minifigure can actually be lifted up. The thing that can really control how it's really being stood other than the legs is the middle leg. And when you have this down, this is like the little mechanism you use to control it. It can't be pushed up. But when you push it up, if you want, you can just push it all the way in, and it generally stays. But if you want it down, you can just let it drop down and then, you know, you got your leg down. And then really, if you want to be able to change the position, you have to get it like in the air and then push it forward. And you have to try to get it to like that perfect length where he just doesn't fall forward. For some reason, it just doesn't want to go to like the correct stance with like this area. But there are the other two ways to display. You can have it like this where you have just the leg down can have it like this fully like just with the leg up like how we normally be when he's just standing that's my review of the ucs r2d2 i hope you guys leave a like and subscribe